Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I stayed up late last night and finished the book. Although, no, I don't know how smart it was because I kind of had a hard time falling asleep after it because, well, it's not scary. It still bothered me. <sighs> okay. So, Becoming the Boogeyman by Richard Chismar. Cover's awesome. This is a sequel to his book, Chasing the Boogeyman. I am giving this three and a half stars. I have to think about it for a second. Because I'm like last night teetering between three and three and a half. So let's go with three and a half. The first book I even gave three stars. Now, you cannot read this without reading Chasing the Boogeyman. Otherwise, you'd be lost. So he does the same formula as the first book. He uses himself as a character, which kind of bugged me a lot in this one. Is why I didn't give it a four. Um, it kind of gets tired with using himself as a character. I get it. It's just, I don't know. It, it, I'm chasing the boogeyman. I was like, oh, this is cool. And then it's like, in becoming the boogeyman, it's like, okay, I'm getting, it's getting kind of old. Um, so in this one, the boogeyman who is known as Josh Gallagher is in jail. However, there are new murders happening around Richard Chismar's house and copycat of the boogeyman, Josh Gallagher. So they're like, oh my God, who's doing these killings? Not only that, he's basically terrorizing Richard throughout the whole book. The killer. He, she, it, whatever. So, it is similar to the first one where you think it's real because they're using photos, but it's not. It's completely fiction. The killing part. He did say in the back of the book when he was talking about his, you know, uh, growing up, it, that was all true. So he is blending a bit of nonfiction and fiction in there. Nonfiction in this fiction book. I can't talk this morning. So I gave an extra half star because of the twist at the end. Because I didn't realize who the killer slash killers were. It could be more than one killer. So I'm not saying it's one killer. It could be more. I'm not giving any spoilers. And it kind of shocked me. And then there was two more shocking things afterwards. So I gave the extra half star for that. Because yay. Did not see them coming. Because everything is rosy. No, it's not. It's never rosy. <laughs> um, it is open left. And it, the book is wide open for a third book. Which I will probably read. And complain about him using himself as, yeah, as a character again. But that's okay. Because he is a good story writer. Um, he is a good author, I meant to say. He does write the story well. The characters are really good. Um, and I especially love the bad guys in it. Good bad guy, bad guys. Well, it is bad guys because... Josh Gallagher and the other killer. Uh, so, yeah, I enjoyed... I actually like the bad guys better than the good guys. So, yeah, I will probably continue with the series. It's just... I just gotta give her that hump of him using himself as a character. Same thing like when I do graphic novels and the illustrations are horrible, but the story's good. Similar to this, so... Oh, no. Not a bad read. All right, once again, um, it's called Becoming the Boogeyman. Like I said, awesome cover. Um, and I'm giving by Richard Chismar and I'm giving it three and a half stars. And of course, he's always throwing his Stephen King references in there throughout the whole book because he's buddy buddy with Stephen King. And I thought it was funny because I'm like, oh, his dog's name's Cujo. Is that really in true life? Is your dog named Cujo, Richard Chismar? Because that's kind of creepy. It's a little creepy. All right. That's it for me tonight or tonight, this morning. I used to have to go to work like this. Ha! Uh, everyone have a great day. Everyone have a great week. Happy Monday, of course, because it's Monday. And... But I'm off tomorrow, so I have to get through this one day. And then I have my me day tomorrow. Me day. So my hair will be different. It will be getting colored. All right. Happy reading, and I'll see you all next time.